Nathan Emerson, you are the new CEO of Property Mark. Uh, is Property Mark a rudderless boat? Everyone seems to be jumping out of the ship at the moment. Quite, quite the opposite, Chris, really. I think, you know, people, if we're talking boats, you know, um, rudderless boats will, will drift and, and turn around in circles. And I think you've got to bear in mind that, that Property Mark is, if we're talking boats, probably akin to, to almost like a super tanker, if that makes any sense. And sometimes to turn those ships, you, it, it takes pre, pre-ordained thought. Um, we're not a little mirror dinghy you can flip on a, on a, on a, on a knife edge. Um, we are quite a large organisation and equally we're an organisation which probably then has several boats behind it as well and, and if you turn too quickly those other boats can tie themselves up in knots. So uh, do we have a strategic direction? Absolutely. Um, are members at the heart of our entire engine so to speak? Absolutely they are and I think even more so because what I want to try and do is, is, is beef that engine and membership up even further. Um, so if anything, I want to try and give it more speed um, and actually what I want to do as well is just trim that direction so we end up where we want to get where we go. Uh, not wishing to talk about individuals, but mm. we have had a spate of, you know, both executive people leaving and presidents leaving. Is that just bad luck? I don't think anything's bad luck. I think, you know, differing circumstances happen in every single organisation. And I think, you know, for a lot of people, if you look at, the, you know, the industry average, you know, 15% is the average turnover in our industry quite comfortably. Property Mark doesn't have a high ratio of turnover. Staff traditionally with us for a long period of time. You will always get circumstances where people leave and they will be for a whole mix of reasons. And I think, again, back to what I said on, a, on the previous video, sometimes if we're... Uh, guilty of not shouting out and telling people a lot about a lot of things that we do do. Yeah. People focus in on the bits of news that they do hear and, and obviously that can cause a distortion. Because if you don't mind me saying, you know, you, 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 you as an organisation have had, you know, these setbacks and these bad news, but, you, you know, you've been very conspicuous by your absence of not saying anything. That can be frustrating because, you know, members and dare I say the actual agency profession overall, um, will think, well, why can't they answer this? Why, why can't they answer that? And, and I used to be in that boat as everybody else. And I thought, well, why can't you do it? And then when you're actually getting on the inside, you suddenly appreciate some of the confidentialities and the magnitude of what we're involved in that happens. Um, and, you know, it, 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 for me, it was an absolute eye-opener when I actually got into to, 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 to getting involved with Property Mark. Uh, my external ideas as just being a normal member and obviously I was a member of uh, sales, lettings and commercial. Um, you know, I had a, an idea how I thought that operated. Um, what I didn't realise is that, that it was one segment of what Property Mart does. Um, and again, back to communication, in our industry communication is always the key. Mm -hmm. um, and as an agency, every one of us, you know, will push what we think is right for our agency. Um, what I'm hoping to do, obviously having more of an agency um, background across all the facets, is actually be able to ensure we're now starting to communicate to the right people in the right way uh, with the right messages, um, which I think we, we you know... We and you, you, do you, you honestly think you're the man for the job? Uh, I've been asked to do it, and, and to be fair, we've, I've gone into it on an interim basis, you know, and that was equally from, from my thought. At the end of the day, How I think... How long is interim? Um, as, well, from, from my point of view, I'm expecting that it's going to take probably a year for Property Mark to get where I want to do it for two reasons. Firstly, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Um, and you can make, you know, I listen to all the press and, you know, and comments that you've mentioned. You can make knee-jerk reactions to everything. Um, but again, I have the oversight of, of, of having been involved at board level, so I understand the strategic side of things. The one thing I've now done is taken a step from strategy to operational. Um, and again, as you know, my background is very much in, in operational and making people work operationally. So I'm not worried of that challenge whatsoever. I'm actually quite excited by it. Um, I think the team at Property Mart, actually, they're a very great team and they are very, very committed. Um, I think the only thing I want to try and do, Chris, is try and improve the member experience that happens from there. Um, and also, I, I actually want to reach out a lot more to industry stakeholders um, and, and, and grassroots. And there's an awful lot of work being done behind the scenes at the moment because I want to understand, A, what do people really think they want? 
and what do people actually need. And I think need and want are two separate things, and we have to find the balance of those. And so um, two, two, two board members, uh, Rich and Katie, they're going through a whole process at the moment, um, looking at, at, at member benefits at the minute. Um, I've got other people that are reaching out to very happy members and also, dare I say, unhappy you know, members. I'm not afraid of feedback, quite the opposite. I want clarity, I want to know, and I want to also make sure that the property market evolves in the direction we need it to for the future. Um, you know, we look at Roper, we look at all the legislation that's going to happen, um, and that's, that's just that segment, there's changes for our industry. Without the demographics in and out the industry, the age of people, the types of people the industry brings into its fold now is very different than it was 20 years ago, and we have to do things in a different way to cater for that. Thank you for your time today. I'd like to ask you some more questions about Roper and, and whether, you know, uh, property markets fit for purpose in the next few videos. Is that okay? Thank you.